another game, another achievement, another batch of the day, and the game hunter. And today we are going to congregate.com to play Underworld Idol. But this video will be a little bit different. We're not gonna focus only on one achievement in particular, which is Shushu unlock a ghoul in Underworld Idol. But I'm gonna try to give you the first step, the first ropes to get you started in this amazing idol game. Let's get started and become the Underworld lore. First of all, Underworld Idol is a idol game <laughs> based in the Underworld, so you need to manage the Underworld. You're gonna be the Lord taking care of the demons, the undead. We have five factions in the game. The demons, the undead, the droners, warlocks, and also the robot. And one of the key mechanics in the game is that high order units will create low order units. That's how it works. The big one will help you to create the small unit and the small one will be the one generating the special resource that you need. To start the game, we only have access to one demon, Angriel. Angriel is the one that is gonna generate gems. And with gems, we can start unlocking new items and factions in Underworld Idol. So let's see, to create an Angriel, we need 20 gems and one soul, okay. Angrid is gonna generate the gems, but who is gonna generate the souls? That's why we have the undead. So the undead faction will be the one dedicated to create souls that we can combine with the gems to create more demons. The batch of the day is called Shushu and we need to create an extra gold. Right now we have one, but to create another one, we need 30 million gems, <laughs> 10 souls and one raw mana. Okay, raw mana is something that we're gonna see in the future. It's another material that will become very, very handy. So let's start building more angrials. Let's create an angrial. There you go. Now that we have an angrial, we can start unlocking some other demons. The second demon available is Dantelion. But look at this. Dantelion is gonna generate angrial. So the high order units are gonna start creating the small ones. And the small one is the one that's gonna generate the resource, in this case, the gems. So we can get a Dantalion. Dantalion is gonna start creating Angrils, but it's gonna require 30,000 gems, 100 Angrils, and one soul. That's a lot, we only have one. So we're gonna start creating one by one. Okay, each Dantalion you create will reduce Angrils soul cost. Interesting. So every time that we create a unit, it's gonna be cheaper to create the other one in terms of souls. So we have two, let's create another one and another one. We got some gems, not too bad. And at the bottom, you can see you can create either the maximum amount of units. You can create 10% of the next one to reach the next level. Right now, let's stick with 10%. So we need to focus at the beginning in create as many angrils as possible. Remember, we need to keep an eye in the souls because that's the one that's gonna help me to start creating this demon. We got only five, let's create the maximum. Seven, seven looks like a lot. And now look at that, we can upgrade our demon. And how the upgrades are gonna work, we need to sacrifice, because we are in the underworld, half of the angrils in order to increase the production. So right now, we're gonna increase the production, upgrade, now we only have eight, you see? But now the production is two times faster. So you need to pay the price if you wanna succeed especially in the underworld. All right, so now we can create up to 30. That's not too bad. You see, we can keep increasing the production. To upgrade angry, you need 25 angry. Each upgrade doubles angry's production, which for us is fantastic. Look at the amount of gems. The gems are just spinning like crazy. That is exactly what we want. Let's upgrade this. We can get 67 more. Now that we have 100 agrials, we can create one dantalium. So. Let's go over here, we can create one, okay? If I create, I don't wanna spend all the gems that I have. <laughs> I don't wanna spend all the souls that I have. I wanna continue, and it's a good idea for you to always keep an eye on the tips. The tips are super useful to get you started in the game. So the next one will be, the more than talent you have, the less souls are required to recruit aerials. Other units will follow the same pattern. High order units will help you to get discount in low order units. So, let's get this, uh, another Dantalion, why not? Okay, don't mind if I do. And now we have the access to Hagenji, Hagenji, Hagenji? 
<laughs> I'm sorry if I mispronounce the name. Why do you want me to do? The names are coming from hell. I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, we got fire spheres. You have enough gems to create spheres of fire. All right, so if we go into gems, we can create this sphere of fires. And the sphere of fires is going to start increasing the production of your demons, of any demons, by 100%. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, let's create our first sphere of fire. And now that we have one, we can assign that one to any of the demons that we have. Pay attention. Sphere of fire is for demons. Fire skull is for undead. So we can assign that to the undead unit. In this case, the idea would be to spread the sphere of fire. Okay, don't put all the sphere of fire in one. Let's try to spread because remember, high order units will help you to create low order units. So let's give this sphere to Agriel. Agriel, look at that, production, you have 391, it produce 8 gems per second, a total of 3,000 per second. Wow, we move super fast, super fast. Okay, let's increase the number of Agriels. Perfect, over 1,000, we can create one of these. Ooh, we have a problem. We're running low in souls. And that is one of the things that you have to pay attention in this game. This game is not just about clicking. You gotta figure it out. Which is the bottleneck that you have? Which resource do you need to increase in order to keep advancing in the game? Right now, it's souls. Souls! Who can give me a soul? A ghoul, a ghoul, right? But right now, we have 30 million, we need 30 million gems in order to start working on that. But, hey, we're moving pretty fast. We're moving quite fast. All right, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't complain that much. Okay, let's just start building more dentalium, little by little, just getting dentalium. And over here, are we ready to create one of these hagen tea? No, because we need 2,000 2, That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, let's sacrifice some of the soul that we have so we can get more production in gems, okay? Remember, with gems, we're gonna start getting more aggro, and with that, we can probably get closer to unlock our goo. As we continue with this tutorial, it's very important for you to always remember to save your game, okay? Just click in settings, save, and you're gonna have a file in your computer. All right, so we got gems, almost three million. That's crazy, that's crazy. We're getting super close. I think, oh no, we're super far away. Yeah. We need 30 millions. What am I talking about? My math is not working very well. All right, so we need to keep increasing the aggro, okay? See, right now we got 7,000. And maybe it's a good idea if, hmm, interesting. 2 million, we can get another sphere of fire. That's not bad, okay? But look at that, the price of the next one is gonna be 30 billion gems. So be careful with that. Okay, we have another sphere of fire. And we're gonna get this one to Dantalion. Dantalion, you see, we have that modification multiplier. Uh, we can continue increasing also the amount of Dantalions that we have. Remember that in order for us to unlock Hagen T, we need to have 2,000 Dantalions and 400 million gems. As we keep producing gems, we can take a look to souls. So we have Rotten Doll, you have zero. When obtained, gives 100 waste. Waste is another resource that is gonna come to play later in the game. That is, again, five different factions, and all the factions are related. Another tip, as soon as you unlock the Droners, you gotta be super careful. Don't build a thousand Droners, because you need to have raw mana, which is another very difficult to find material. So take it slow, just produce whatever you need. And now look at that, we have the opportunity to create our ghoul. There you go, our first ghoul. With this, we can unlock the show show achievement, but we're gonna continue playing for a little bit longer. Okay, so we can create our ghoul because we got 30 million and now we have access to the droners. The droners are the ones that can help us to get raw mana. We have raw mana, okay, and also we got the Leviathan. Ever heard about the Dead Sea? Well, this guy killed it. <laughs> the Leviathan is the one who's gonna produce raw mana. It's gonna take more time, so be careful, okay? Now we have access to, ooh, look at that, energy. What? Some other resources are coming into place. And now we are in the laboratory where we can use 
batteries to start applying some extra boost in the game. For example, the first one that can be applied if we have 100 QA gems. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> But as soon as you start getting batteries, you're gonna be able to start activating these little things and give you an extra boost in the game. Some of these will give you a boost in gems, some others boost in production, some others in probably souls. So be careful, use your energy wisely. Now let's go back to the droners. As I was mentioning before, very important, do not spend a second yet with the droner. Leviathan is super cool, but it requires 1 million souls. What you need to do is start developing the other faction first. Okay, we have the demons first, the one who produce the gems. Now we got the undead produce the souls. But but before upgrading some other factions, it's very important to develop the previous one. Okay. So now that we have the undeads, we can start building more ghouls. Ghouls give me souls, which is good. We can unlock the pestilence, but the pestilence require a hundred ghouls. That's gonna take me some time. <laughs> It's gonna take me some time. We have 150, if I'm not wrong. The game gives you 150 raw mana at the beginning. We have 147, but pay attention. Every ghoul costs you one raw mana. And right now, we are not generating mana. Okay, so ultra mega careful. As we progress in the game, all the factions will give you options to get some other buildings. For example, this one is giving me the Oyster of the Deep, which is, sounds delicious, but it's super expensive. 30 billion raw mana. That's crazy. We're not even gonna talk about it in this video. How many Dantalians we have? We have plenty of Dantalians. Now we have access to Hagen T. Hagen T, boom chakalaka, we unlock a new demon. The new demon is called Aventon, the Bonjour Abyss. Per day rent direct from the owner. <laughs> but look at the price to build or summon one of these demons. We need 500 QA gems, <laughs> 30k agentes, and one soul. That's gonna take me some time. And remember that this is a video. This is not a 24 7 live stream. And now we hit rock bottom. Why? Because we don't have more raw mana. Only one more. <laughs> Only one more! So we need a Leviathan in order for us to keep creating this raw mana, which is something that we won't be able to do yet, but we're gonna be able to do it in the future. In the meantime, look at this. We can create the Altar of the Soul. Increase the maximum discount for soul. Okay, we can create that one. Why not? Don't mind if I do. I have access to only one more ghoul. That's it. No more raw mana. Zero balance. <laughs> so now it's all about improving the demons so we can unlock the other factions. Achievement complete. All the basic tips have been given. How about if we go to another account that I have so I can show you a more advanced gameplay. Now I can show you some more advanced features. For example, energy. We have some batteries around 34 and those batteries are gonna generate energy that I can keep using, okay? And we have these crystals. In order to activate the crystals, we need to get a requirement of gems. For example, the first four crystals are already unlocked, so I can use it with energy. But the last one, I cannot, because I need 500 NQD gems. I'm kind of far away from that. So that's what I'm trying to get things going, try to increase the production of the demons, the undead, and also the droners, so I can start getting more gems in this case, to activate this last crystal. Okay, one tip that I can give you. The first one is gonna give you gems, souls, and raw mana. And it's gonna cost you 500 energy. And 10% of the energy used will go to the waste. Waste is another area, is the junk jar. That's a whole different story. <laughs> Let me finish with this. The second crystal will increase the production eight times for all the faction for 200 seconds. And the third one, increase the production of demons 20 times for 30 seconds. So, another tip, combination of crystal two and three, two and three, two and three, they both can stock up, very important. The fourth one will give me extra souls, which is something that I, I don't need at the moment. So, what are we gonna do with the energy? Two and three, you see? We're using a thousand and, and fifteen hundred, so it's not a lot, but look at the Look at the gems! Look at the gems! I'm just going crazy bananas. And you can see right here the 
extra production. So we get more production for the demons. Why not? Look at that. It's piling up. So we had an insane bonification in the production of all the factions, but especially on the demons. Look at the demons. <laughs> for 35 more seconds, we'll be working over time, which is great because, again, we need to start upgrading this little creature. Look at that. This guy has eight fire sphere multipliers but also have a gear which is something i'm going to show you in a few more seconds so many things in the game <laughs> every time that you unlock something a whole new universe of things you can do let's go to the junk jar but we're not going to go into that many details unless you want another video of underworld idol all right so we got the batteries batteries are right there you can buy them with tokens token is something that you can collect in the game by searching in the junk jar so for example we have this daily login day five 20 tokens there you go and then you can use those tokens to buy those batteries okay we got the tokens over here you can buy some extra tokens if you want with credits and this is the waste that i have waste product can be used to recruit runners remember that i told you let's not go crazy building every single unit let's see which ones are the one that we need <laughs> and let's not spend all the resources that we cannot generate, okay? Right here, we can recycle. Huh? We can recycle and get some waste and also a Hell Ash. And with Hell Ash, we can start building <laughs> another thing. <laughs> Runes, there's so many things. Again, that is gonna be part of another video. But the good thing is that you have this option to go and recycle some extra material so you can create some other new buildings. What we need to do is to unlock the crystal number five. And for that, we need to increase the production of the demon. So one more time, combo two, three. I will save the energy just for that at the beginning. And that, again, is going to help me to start unlocking some more powerful units, units that can help me to get more resources. And then also we can open another faction. I hope this video was useful for you to get started in Underworld Idol. Do not forget to subscribe to the Congregate YouTube channel. We have live streams every Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific time, and the game Hunter. And if you want me to keep playing Underworld Idol, let me know in the commentary section down below. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.